at point three visibility. The fog will burn off and we're going to have spring like weather for the next few days. In fact, sunny skies, but how long will it last? Going to pull up that forecast in just a minute, but here's the day planner. Still chilly at seven o'clock. 643. Happy Friday. I am in Friday mode completely. I was actually in Friday mode two days ago, so <laughs> I'm ready for the weekend and a great looking weekend. Right now, we just have to get through the wet roads. Be safe as you make your way and also some light sprinkles through the region as well. But by 11 o'clock this morning, certainly by lunchtime, those should be gone and we're going to have a mix of clouds and sun throughout the day. One advisory for you here. It's a small craft advisory from Florence down on south inexperienced boaters like myself or a small boat. Stay out of the water. Best thing to do. Here's the system that's coming through right now. This is what's giving us those scattered showers right now. Not much at all. Just a couple of spits out on the road and that's about it. Take you to two o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to call it partly cloudy with most of the system down to the south. I don't want to just spring this on you, okay. but it's the best way to do it. All right. We're going to do a little weather trivia. Okay. I'd like to know if you're paying attention to the forecast here. All right. Will today be A, mostly sunny, mm -hmm. B, partly sunny, or C, mostly cloudy? I'm going to say mostly sunny. That is correct. There He's go. paying attention. <laughs> Already 1,900 flights have been canceled uh, for folks on the East Coast. So if you're traveling today and you do have a flight, chances are your flight could be affected here. So I would highly suggest calling the airlines just to get a heads up of what's going on. System from California pushing up our way. No rain yet, but it is coming. In our break room, I wanted to show you this. There's a box of stress balls in our break room. What does that say to the employees from management? <laughs> It's management's way, Aiden, of saying, I think these people are stressed. Let's give them a box of stress balls. So uh, there you have it. I have mine. Would you like it? Here you go. See if you can catch that. Boom. Oh, off the desk. <laughs> Showers, here's what we're looking at. Six o'clock this morning. This is our day planner today. Takes us out 36 degrees at seven o'clock if you're leaving for work. Well, we're not going to have many issues. Roads could be a little bit uh, wet from some overnight drizzle. 56 at noon. We're going to top out at 59 today. Should peak there about 2 p.m. And by the time you come home from work tonight, five o'clock, 54 degrees. You could have a little bit of sprinkles on, on the windshield tonight when you come home. Uh, we're not expecting much as far as rain tonight. Maybe a couple scattered, very isolated showers. We'll get more opportunity for that rain to come in tomorrow for sure. Have you already looked up what today is? Oh, it's right up here. Oh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm oh, going to give okay. you a hint a as to what it is. Today will be cloudy with a chance of Ooh, meatballs. Meatballs. It's National Meatball Day. There we go. Okay. okay. I haven't had a I haven't had a good spaghetti and meatballs in a while. When it does come to a meatball, do you eat it with a fork or do you eat it with a spoon? Oh, uh, I'll go fork. Yeah. Just Hmm. Dive right in. Yeah, that's a tough one. Sometimes I like the spoon because you could get more meat on the spoon than you can the fork. That's true. Depending on the size of the fork. Of course. <laughs> yeah. As far as our day planner goes, we're looking at a 7 a.m. temp at 42, 50 by noon, and 51 at 5 o'clock. High temp for Eugene Springfield, 55 today. Saturday, Sunday, Monday dry but tracking a system which arrives late night, Monday night into Tuesday, and that's when we get wet. So the good news is we have a great looking weekend. Please get out and enjoy as best you can. Here's our highs for the day. Could find some freezing fog out on the road, so be safe as you make your way. Maybe allow a little bit of extra time at least when you make your way out and wear a jacket, put a hat up on top, even gloves, because I got in the car this morning, had to do a quick little scrape and uh, steering wheel. Just very, very cold as we're waking up coast now. High 30s, 2930 up and down I five our bus stop forecast for the kids. We're looking at a chilly morning. In fact, seven o'clock. We're still going to be seeing that patchy fog and about 32 degrees. So we have uh, a few good days here to take advantage and get outside, open up your windows, do some early spring cleaning. And speaking of spring, we spring forward this weekend. So tomorrow night before bed, uh, push those clocks an hour ahead. Portland, if you're heading this way, a little bit of risk of 20% chance of showers early this morning. Otherwise today, Saturday, Sunday, sunshine for Portland. So if your travels take you up that way, <laughs> not going to look like this. Uh, 4,000 and up half inch of snow today for the passes, but a sunny type of weekend for the seas today. Coos Bay sun up at 638. Beautiful sunset tonight, 618 and waves at 8 to 10 water temp. 49 degrees. Here's a seven day forecast. We're looking at 55 today, 59 tomorrow. So check it out. 64 on Sunday. Monday late night rain, then look at the temperatures drop from Monday into Tuesday. In 2006, I did a stair climb in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. It was the Bank of America building, 42 flights, and gosh, that was tough. Um, didn't have the gear on like these guys, <laughs> but I'll tell you, if you ever have the opportunity to do a stair climb 
Unbelievable. Okay, it's interesting. Just, what what a rush. I, I climb I climb the three flights of stairs to my apartment every day. And let me tell you, <laughs> and you're out of breath. It's pretty rough. <laughs> <I know>. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right there. Yeah. I'm the same way. I'm out of shape right now, but I did it 12 years ago. Beautiful weekend coming up, friends. In fact, we're waking up with some light shower activity right now. Maybe it'll just last a few more hours. Then we're going to have kind of a mix of clouds and sun throughout the day. But here is our forecast. Take a peek at this. 55 today. Hope you're rested from the weekend. Is it just me? Or do the weekends seem to just go faster and faster? Maybe I'm getting older. Mike, am I getting older? <laughs> yeah, he said yes. Hey, come on, Mike. All right, sunny skies for the passes today. 35, 21 are the numbers. Snow, what about snow for the Willamette and Sanium? Not till Wednesday. At best, about a half of an inch. For Portland today, early morning scattered isolated showers if you're heading up that way. Otherwise, partly sunny, topping out at a balmy. 53, uh, 53 degrees. Uh, we here in uh, Eugene will be at 56. Check this out. It's our brand new sky cam for NBC News. All right. That's so funny. Are you going to buy any of those? I don't know. Probably <laughs> not. But with so, we know we work so hard to get great quality, and now we're paying to go back to the yeah to 30 years quality. ago. Yeah, interesting times. Go figure. PCMike.com. I'm going to. Check that out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, uh, Eugene, today we're going to have clouds. We're going to top out at 59 degrees. Check out our new NBC 16 sky cam shot. Uh, thanks to our friends at Nations Minimix giving us this pretty uh, picture here of the city lights where it's uh, 37 degrees up there right now. Inexperienced boaters, small boats, best you stay out of the water. So here's our future cast. This is the energy that we're seeing right now up and down I-5, Newport, Florence getting a little bit of that drizzle right now, but we are going to clear out this morning and then looking at a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy afternoon. We'll clear up a little bit tonight. Here's a shot at seven o'clock. I don't know what your plans are. It could be a big date night, a movie night. Oprah Winfrey has her new movie, uh, movie out tonight along with who else stars in that Reese Witherspoon and uh, mm. It'll come back to me. Anyway, we're going to have a great looking weekend. I can tell you that very, very tiny chance of showers tomorrow night. Only about a 20% chance. So that's late night and that's about it. Sunday, beautiful Monday, beautiful uh, Tuesday. New system comes in and that's when we're going to get wet. So we have Friday today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Four great days ahead of us, and then Tuesday, psh, rain comes right back. If your travels take you up I-5 to Portland, uh, a little bit of scattered showered activity right now. Otherwise, they're going to have a partly sunny day today and sunshine over the weekend, so no troubles there at all. Here's the pass. Highway 126, a little bit of snow right there. Cars coming through, and a half inch at 4,000 and up today. Otherwise, a sunny weekend. For the seas, we're looking at a west wind, 5 to 10 knots, and sunset tonight at 618. Don't forget, we do turn the clocks ahead tomorrow night. Anything in particular you're looking forward to most this weekend when it comes to uh, uh, our sports? Yeah, I think I'm looking forward to most to softball just because it's first home series. The, the, the softball fans here pack Jane Sanders Stadium. It's always crowded. Love the atmosphere out there. Okay, and you're going to go to a game this weekend. Tomorrow? Yeah, I will most likely be at either one of the baseball or softball games. You can count on that. Okay, beautiful weather for baseball. And then spring ahead, I'm going to save my run for Sunday night so I can... Ah, Enjoy the night. Look at this guy right here. Where it's still, when it's still bright out. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Thank you, Ray.